Mr. Mayor, just a quick question. Uh, there might have been something on Twitter last night about you saying that you believe that the school was actually yeah. the target. Can you just yeah. give us a little bit more? Can okay, we talk about that? Yes, sir. Yeah, okay. Um, let me start by saying that um, I am elected into office to have an opinion and to make judgment calls based on what I see. And, uh, and then the residents decide whether those judgment calls were good. And uh, that's what I try to do. I try to be transparent with people and upfront and give them an honest assessment of the information that we see. I'll start by saying that um, when we saw the information three days ago, and uh, it was fairly easy to conclude that it was a hate crime, we came out very aggressively and early and said that. And had we waited and said to the broader community that we were unsure of the motives, it would have undermined my trust and my relationship with the community. Right? And I view everything and every decision that we make and every comment that we make through that prism. So let me start on that. Um, the reason I said that was based on three things. The first is based on video footage that we have seen and we have turned over to the uh, authorities that we believe it's fairly clear that he walks to the door directly adjacent first and then pivots. Um, as you all know, the yeshiva and the school is directly adjacent, attached to that building. That's number one. Number two is that he brought a lot of ammunition and a lot of firearms. It's fairly self -safe, safe to conclude from that, that his intentions were to do more than just murdering three people. Number three is he drove to a location that is a known yeshiva in the center of that Jewish community there. Um, that's not something that's a secret in the Jewish community. There were 50 children there that everybody knows. I think he put those things together and nobody will know the exact answer because those two perpetrators are dead, but you put those things together, I think it's fairly safe to conclude that that was the direction that he was going. Now, why is it important to say it now? It's important to say it now because, um, as I said, in a lot of darkness, there's a little bit of light with the police officers that responded and probably changed that plan because they were a block away and they ran towards the gunfire. And people should know that this could have been far, far worse. This could have been the equivalent of a Sandy Hook type tragedy. That's number one. Number two is it's important for people to recognize the fact that when people say that maybe this wasn't any crime, maybe it wasn't anti-Semitism, maybe it was something else, maybe we're making it larger than what it is, um, they should recognize the fact that the intent was much, much larger. And so it's important for people to know that. It's important for the world to know that. It's important to communicate that. And I think the facts, as I outline, outline them for you, a reasonable person would come to that conclusion that the intent was much larger than that grocery store. And knowing the location of the yeshiva with the 50 kids inside, I think it's pretty clear. Okay?